jokes before. This is one of my favorite little Johnny jokes. Uh, you know, my jokes are something else with Marla, so a lot of you know my wife, Marla. <laughs> she bumps me. Now, it's not going to be this or it's not going to be that. You're not going to insult these people. I won't tell her what the jokes are. <laughs> But uh, anyway, she really gets inquisitive about it. It turns out that the uh, third grade uh, school teacher uh, had a program where she was teaching the kid about salesmanship and the approach to sales. And uh, the kid over the weekend had gone out and sold things and used different approaches to make the sales. And they were all excited coming back to school on Monday to tell their story. And so she said, okay, Doris, uh, what did you do? Well, I sold Hero Scout cookies. And, and I, my, my approach was I appealed to their civic duty, and, and, and that was my approach. Oh, okay, Sally, what did you do? Well, I sold magazines. I sold $35 worth. And, I, and I, my success is, was I explained to the people how these magazines keep them curling up. Well, it went on fast until it was little Johnny's turn. The teacher was concerned because little Johnny had displayed himself many times in the past. Okay, little Johnny, uh, what did you do? He cut, walked up to the desk and he slapped down a box full of money. He says, $2,364. She says, my gosh, what could you have sold that you would make that much money? He said, toothbrushes. You can't make that much money selling toothbrushes, can you? Well, I can. He says, I went down and I found the busiest street in town. And I got on the corner and I set up a stand with free dip and free chips. And people came by and they'd get a free chip and dip. And every one of them, after they took a bite, said, that tastes like dog poop. <laughs> <laughs> and he says, it is dog poop. You want to buy a toothbrush? <laughs> Free, <laughs> and I'll make them pay to get the bad taste out. Of it. <laughs>